Welcome, everyone. Today we'll be discussing the analysis of our 2017 SAS, R, or Python flash survey results, where we've been asking predictive analytics professionals and data scientists which statistical tool they prefer for the past few years. I'd like to start off by saying thank you to all of you who participated in our flash survey this year. Before we jump in, I'll, I'll provide a brief overview to my background and role at Birchworks. So I currently currently partner with Linda Birch on senior level analytics and data science roles nationwide. In terms of my background, I started my career within the consumer insights field, working on global brand and ad trackers for Nokia and Ford, as well as a number of government and academic projects. After that, I transitioned into the talent acquisition industry, working at LinkedIn as well as Birchworks. All right, so let's get into the meat of what we'll be discussing today. The webinar will be short and sweet, about 15 minutes in total. We'll start off by looking at the overall results and then digging into the data cut by different demographics. Well, here is what you've all been waiting for. The overall results are from 1,046 predictive analytics and data science professionals surveyed this year. To keep the analysis simple, we asked only one question. Which do you prefer, SAS, R, or Python? As you can see, R is in the lead this year with 40%. About a third of respondents, or 34%, chose SAS, and 26% chose Python. We're always curious to see how things change over time. So here you can see how tool preferences have shifted over the four years we've been running this survey. Originally, the survey was SAS versus R, but we added Python as an option in 2016 as its libraries have expanded. And overall, we've seen um, Python become much more popular among data scientists and predictive analytics professionals. Now, one of our favorite parts of doing this analysis is, of course, to be able to break these preferences down by demographic factors. So let's take a look. Segmenting by years of experience is one of our most interesting cuts, because sometimes this can provide a clue in terms of where the market is headed. Over 80% of professionals who are early in their careers, so we define that it's the first five years, prefer open source tools like R and Python, which isn't too surprising since their usage is prevalent in academic institutions. As more analytics professionals and data scientists transition into the field from other areas, they're also more likely to use R or Python, for example, in boot camps or through self-taught options like MOOCs. As seniority and experience increases, so does the preference for SAS with 56% of respondents with 16 plus years of experience preferring SAS, 25% preferring R, and only 19% preferring Python. And here's how the preferences of folks with less than five years of experience has changed over the past few years. The relatively recent shift towards open source tools has been particularly noticeable among professionals with five or less years of experience, where preferences for R, or Python is particularly strong. This is also one of the demographic areas which has the strongest Python support at nearly 30%. All right, now let's take a look at industry. You can see we've started with the highest support for open source on the left, moving to the highest SaaS support on the right. Unsurprisingly, the tech industry, which employs 41% of data scientists, shows the strongest support for Python at 37%. Over the past few years, more heavily regulated industries like financial services and healthcare and pharma have typically shown a higher preference for SaaS. The two industries where we've seen the biggest shift in terms of open source support were in consulting and in the retail CPG space. In retail and CPG, support for SaaS versus open source tools has pretty much flipped over the past three years, from 68% for SaaS in 2015 to 69% for R and Python in 2017. Now let's look at region. Open source solutions have historically been popular on the West Coast and in the Northeast due to the presence of tech hubs like San Francisco, Seattle, Boston, and New York. And that trend certainly holds true again this year. Python support is highest on the West Coast with 34%. R preference is highest in the Midwest this year with 42%, followed closely by the Northeast and West Coast. And SAS support is, high, is highest in the Southeast with 41%. Well, when we break things down by education, it shows that preference for open source tools is higher among the, um, those with advanced degrees. 
PhD favors Python um, the most at 37%. Master's degree holders favor R at 43%. And among bachelor's degree holders, SAS barely edges out R with 42%. In looking specifically at preferences among PhD holders the past four years, it's clear that support for open source options has always been strong, again, likely because of their usage in academic research programs. As we've found in our Birchwork studies, data scientists are also more likely than traditional predictive analytics professionals to have PhDs, and you're about to see how that difference comes into play because we also looked at the difference um, in preferences uh, in data science versus predictive analytics. So here you can see the very distinct difference in tool preference between data scientists who are working with unstructured data and traditional predictive analytics professionals working with structured data. Python is overwhelmingly preferred in data science at 69%, where professionals typically have a stronger computer science and coding background, whereas predictive analytics professionals tend to pers tend to prefer statistical tools like SAS and R, and as you can see, only 20% prefer Python. When we view these segments over the past three years, you can see that this actually is the first year that R has overtaken SAS among the predictive analytics professionals as a general cohort. And Python support grew incrementally from last year. Open source support has always been strong in data science, but you can see that preference for Python jumped from 53% last year to 69% this year. Now, like I said, Python was only added as an option in 2016, but it did gain ground in every segment that we looked at this year. So it will be really interesting to see um, what happens next year and where this trend goes. And finally, we get this question all the time. So what do companies want? Do they prefer SAS or R or Python? Of course, tool preference is going to vary widely based on the specific company and the goal. Um, typically, we see that SAS is preferred by more traditional teams or in highly regulated areas like financial services or pharma. But I would say most data science teams or other forming analytics groups are calling for R and Python. Because analytics and data science teams are beginning to blur, so are the skill sets. Really the most important really the most important piece of advice we give candidates consistently regarding tools is to keep your skills fresh. As you know, the tech landscape is always changing, and really the best thing you can do for your career is to stay up to date on the latest options out there. If you're interested in more insights about our flash survey or the analytics and data science hiring market, check out birchworks.com backslash blog where we post periodic updates with hiring market insights and analysis, as well as flash survey results from our quantitative network. To stay connected and up to date on our latest research, webinars, and career advice, you can find Birchworks on LinkedIn, Twitter, YouTube, and Facebook. And for those of you who aren't familiar with us, Birchworks is an executive recruiting firm specializing in the placement of quantitative business professionals, typically within the fields of market research, analytics, and data science. We're the leading resource for quantitative talent and insights, and produce several comprehensive salary reports every year for our main specialty areas. These reports each contain over 30 pages of data and can be downloaded for free at birchworks.com backslash study. If you'd like to see if we have roles that are a fit for your experience or to discuss hiring needs, send us an email at info at birchworks.com to start the process. Thank you all for joining today, and have a great day.